Jessie Spin. So welcome to my tutorial on folding. Folding is where we flip or fold our fans from an imaginary hinge point. For example, I might fold from my end wicks, maybe my chest, my elbows. You get the idea. <laughs> For clean spinning, today's pattern is going to follow our big plus sign. Start with palms facing inwards around shoulder height. To fold your fans to the right, keep your middle wicks connected as you bring your left hand to meet your right hand. We can then unfold back to the center. We can do this same movement to our left by bringing our right hand to our left hand and back again. If we rotate our fans 90 degrees, we can do the same movement upwards or downwards by bringing one hand to meet the other. So, how might I add musicality to this move? I like to really punch this move outwards to create a snappy movement on the beat. Play with different speeds. I might also turn my head in the same direction I fold my fans, or even take a step or two in the same or opposite direction of the fold, depending what effect I want to create. I'm now going to go through a quick choreography with you guys to show how you might incorporate this move into your flow using moves we've already learnt. So first I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll break it down. Now I'm gonna do it slowly with counts. One, two, three, four. Now, these counts are a guide, but you can do this move as quickly or as slowly as you like to whatever music you like, it's totally up to you. Now, how might I add musicality to this combo? Look up when you reach the top of the linear isolation and back as you return. During the S isolation, crouch low to create some different levels. As you fold out on one, look to the side that you're folding to and back as you unfold. Do the same when you fold out on five. You can also add a single step out with the opposite leg to the way you're folding. I like to make the fold snappy. Look up as you fold up and return your gaze on five. Now you can bring your entire body down, including your head, as you bring your fans down, as though you're an extension of your prop, before finishing standing and looking straight out once more. So you can see how by adding a little bit of musicality, we can make a relatively simple move super effective. And if you try out this choreo, guys, be sure to send it my way or tag me on Instagram, hashtag JessieSpin, because I'd love to see your take on it. And for homework, that's right, you heard me. <laughs> I want you guys to pick three moves that you're comfortable with and think about how to link those moves into a combo. And then with that combo, think about how you can add your own musicality and style based on the tips that we learnt today. And that's all for now. Bye guys!